How is it going my friends? So this time we're gonna make a late. And so the first thing we gotta do is flip the pedal as in uh, I want the driving to come from the left side as all lace go. But for that I had to make my own pedal since the original is uh, non-reversible. But yeah, that worked out uh, with no problem. So in the beginning I thought I would make the lathe out of wood, but I've decided I will try out aluminium, hoping I will get some more uh, rigidity and strength out of it. So I've gone ahead and bought two pillow bearings, I think they're called, and, and they're, they're apparently much, much more beefier and beastie than I uh, thought they would be. But I mean, hey, let's give it a go. Tea slots or whatever. Uh, I have this pulley right here that I bought. Just a simple al aluminum one, it's pretty cheap. I would have liked to use this one, of course, but uh, I don't really have any way to hold it to this 12 millimeter shaft. Uh, and I'm not really keen on starting drilling holes in this really beautiful wheel. So I probably will use it for something else in the future. But for now, uh, this pulley would be just fine. I mean, it looks fine. I, I feel like I have a lot of friction. I have the feeling that the bearings I bought, the bearing housings, these two green <laughs> overkill blobs, maybe I didn't read close enough what they are used for, but I have the feeling that, uh, they, are, uh, that they are meant much more for rigidity rather than smoothness and speed. So I decided I will discard those bearings. They're not gonna fit for my lathe. And I apologize if there are some continuity issues in the video because I went through a lot of versions and iterations until I found what was fitting for me. So finally I found online a spindle from a real lathe. It was really cheap because I don't know why would it be expensive. In any rate, uh, this fit really well. I just need to buy some bearings and and basically make it so the bearings fit in the plates themselves. So I had to do a little bit of uh, filing and wiggling around to get it right. And this worked out much, much better and I'm uh, really happy with that. And, and so that worked out really nicely. Let's see. Okay. Too bad. So I went ahead and bought myself a chuck. Okay, I also made a cap. This is more cosmetic kind of thing, but it also protects from the, I don't know, from the inside or something like that. Nice and locked. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's a bit dirty here, why is it dirty? So I want to make the tool rest for the lathe. Piece, not a tail piece, the go, and that's the tail stock. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a lathe. I'm still missing the life centers, 
uh, thingamajigs so for now I'm just gonna hold it in the jaws on one side and on the other side I made this uh, breast pin right here I've kind of uh, modified this chisel to be a little bit more acute with the angle and should be okay and I <laughs> probably should I made this rest to actually metal turn kind of a watchmaker's type of uh, rest but I would probably make another longer one for wood turning but for now it's okay <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot to improve about the finish sanding and all of that, but uh, that's just the beginning. I like it. It's awesome. Gonna do a lot of these soon. So I'm super happy with how this lathe turned out and uh, I'm very glad that it works as well as it does. But when someone gives you two excuses, uh, both of them are wrong. <laughs> Uh, this lathe can really benefit with some additional speed and RPMs and also with a little bit less of uh, a back pain for me. <laughs> I went ahead and I found this motor online. It was relatively cheap and it seems to be fairly powerful but still moderate. I don't want to go super crazy with this but I want to try it out, see if we can gain a little bit more power to this lovely machine. Okay, this is my speed controller and now I made these plates to accept it. Perfect. This time I have the live center, well a better one, that is. So you might have noticed I also got some new tools. These are wood turning tools and uh, I use mostly the skew chisel. I love it even though you do get some catches in the beginning. But uh, it's a delight to work with.
So, the moment we've been waiting for, I'm just kidding, I've, I've tried this gazillion times because uh, there was a lot of finicking to do to get rid of chatter and I've saved you the trouble of uh, hearing lovely squeaky symphonies uh, but I think I got this pretty good for now uh, but it's still, you know, uh, chatter is, will always be a thing I suppose but for now it's pretty good All right, that's enough for now. I will do more projects in the future, of course. Uh, but I'm really happy where it is at the moment. So you're probably wondering what was the point with all the sewing machine treadle pedal uh, thing. Well, for now it's a bench grinder. And uh, it seems to do the trick. It actually works fantastically. It's not the fastest thing and also not the most concentric as you might see but it works so my friends I hope you enjoyed this video I'm I cannot tell you how delighted and happy that I have uh, finally a lathe uh, that can uh, lathe things <coughs> it's kind of a dream of mine to make one and to have one and so finally I got to do it and now I've done a few last finishing changes, I put some wooden profiles and I also fixed the tool rest and it actually eliminated like 60% of the chatter that I used to get. But now I don't have height adjustment so this is probably something that I will tackle in the future. And uh, yeah, this took much longer than I thought it would be, probably it's not really noticeable in the video. But yeah, I got uh, quite obsessive with making this as perfect as I can. And uh, probably I will do a lot of more iterations and processes in the future to make it even better and to upgrade it. But for now it works and so that's that. And lastly, if you want to make it yourself, I will try to put like parts and plans or something like that in the description so you can uh, check it out yourself if you want to build one. But take it with a grain of salt because it's not perfect. There's some stuff that I will do differently. Uh, for example, the T-slot rails, they're uh, meant more for CNC and not for uh, lathe work. So they're not exactly perfect for if you want to do slides or anything like that. That's not really what they're meant to do. However, this worked out really well in any rate and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. We will do more things like that and I'll see you later. <laughs>